My name is Andrea Schmidt. I was an undergrad at the University of California, Berkeley, which is where I first became interested in plasma physics. I ended up going to Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, developing neutron sources. Neutrons have some interesting, unique properties because they don't have a charge. They actually can go through matter. The application that we're most interested in right now is flash neutron radiography. Let's say you want to know what's going on inside of an engine. It's not very easy to look through an engine with x-rays. An engine is basically a metal box with hydrogen inside of it. X-rays do a great job absorbing on metals and a terrible job absorbing on hydrogen. The ideal thing to use is neutrons because they go through metals quite easily and get absorbed strongly on hydrogen. That allows you to get contrast in your image. Because our neutron sources aren't that bright, you actually have to sit there for a long time gathering an image. Fuel is actually uh, squirting through an engine quickly enough that if you take a picture in 40 nanoseconds, you can introduce motional blur. We would like to be able to take a neutron radiograph of objects in a very short amount of time so that we could radiograph objects that are moving, like the fuel, which is what you're actually trying to look at. A dense plasma focus is basically a coaxial plasma railgun, and you accelerate beams of particles that allow you to make neutrons as well as x-rays and other types of radiation. Mjolnir, which is the megajoule neutron imaging radiography experiment and also the name of Thor's hammer, is our dense plasma focus that we built specifically for the purpose of being able to do a radiography demonstration. We use the Chicago particle and cell code to try and figure out what is going on inside the plasma. You're essentially keeping track of a whole bunch of little particles. By having this predictive capability, we're able to optimize the machine using simulation for flash neutron radiography and for other things that will help for a variety of security applications. Working at a national laboratory is really great. You get to perform science that's in the interest of the United States. It also allows me to use my training as a physicist and a plasma physicist to try to solve problems. I think national labs are a little bit overlooked sometimes in people's job searches. So to be able to go out and find talented people who are motivated to solve the world's problems is a real privilege.